Hi everyone, my name is Patrick Botts Forbes. I am the Community Emergency Response Team Central Bureau Coordinator. I'd like to talk to you today about the Neighborhood Team Program. The reason why we need the Neighborhood Team Program and disaster preparedness planning in general is that Southern California is actually vulnerable to almost every type of natural disaster. Ironically, and probably a good thing, is that we actually haven't had a regional disaster in the LA Basin since the 1938 Los Angeles flood. We're over 100 years due for an earthquake that's more than 10 times as powerful as the Northridge quake was. And so it's just a matter of time before this occurs. Some of you might be asking, why yet another program? We already have several out there. Everyone, every department has their own program. But I, this is not another program. This neighborhood team program combines the best aspects of the existing programs but we've designed it to be easy to implement and comprehensive and turnkey. We've designed it to make it easy to approach for neighbors who don't have enough time to take the full community emergency response team program or any of the others that take too long. We're combining the LAFD community emergency response team program, LA City emergency management departments, ready your LA neighborhood program, and LAPD's Neighborhood Watch. The, com the Community Emergency Response Team program was started in 1986 by the Los Angeles Fire Department. It's 17 and a half hours worth of training and teaches you the core disaster response skills, focusing on team organization, team safety, light search and rescue, basic first aid, and how to use a fire extinguisher. The Readier LA Neighborhood program is an easy to introduce your neighbors to two hour training. It's based on the Map Your Neighborhood program out of Washington State, and it gives you a nine easy to follow step program that you can implement right after an earthquake. However, it does rely on cert response for larger problems. Neighborhood Watch was actually started in the 70s, and there's a lot of little neighborhood watch groups out there in the neighborhood already. They meet regularly with their LAPD senior lead officers and they keep a, an eye on the neighborhood, ever-changing situations, and just keep situational awareness. Some of them even use two-way radios. The Neighborhood Team Program was started in 2010 by the Battalion 18 CERT Coordinator, Larry Bogatz, and a few members of his battalion. The pilot program created 12 organized neighborhood teams and had support from five different neighborhood councils. Neighborhood teams are actually the core response to any disaster. For them to be efficient and to work, they have to be grassroots in origin. That means that they have to be built by the community members. It's really neighbors helping neighbors. The city's not gonna set up these teams. The fire department's not gonna set up these teams. The police department is not gonna set up these teams. And the emergency management department is not gonna set up the, these teams. If you want a team, you need to set this up. You need to work with your neighbors and build your own response team. But where we're adding support and guidance is from the Community Emergency Response Team coordinators in our area. To that end, we're putting together step-by-step -step guides that will help you get started. These are going to be short, easy to follow, two to four pages at the most. They're going to be standardized across the city, but they can be customized to your local neighborhood. For those of you with existing teams, you don't have to restart. You have an existing team that's already built these step-by-step -step guides are there to help the people who are just getting started. These step-by-step -step guides have been written for both CERT and non-CERT trained members alike, and they focus on team organization, using two-way radio communications, and disaster medical response. Additionally, we're putting together regular online trainings to continue education and continue building your skills. These monthly classes will be taught by CERT coordinators and they'll be available for review and re-watching at our YouTube channel, which is on the screen in front of you. The topics that we're gonna be teaching will vary from beginner to intermediate to advanced topics. They're gonna to be focused generally on team leadership, team organization, using two-way radios, and disaster medical. And we're also going to be reviewing the step-by-step -step guides. One of the criticisms about the Community Emergency Response Team training is that it doesn't go far enough after the basic training. One of the things it tells you is that 
CERT members will meet at their CERT staging areas in order to deploy out with their teams. But those staging areas simply don't exist. The neighborhood team program is going to remedy this. We're going to be working with the neighborhood team leaders to locate and set up agreements for CERT staging areas in each neighborhood. Additionally, we're going to work on setting up CERT staging area kits that are going to have everything you need to get started. Imagine if you were arriving right after an earthquake walking your dog. You don't have your CERT bag with you, but you're the closest one to the staging area. In there you'll find maps, forms, clipboards, predefined damage assessment routes, so that when your team starts showing up, you can start getting them going without needing anything else. Additionally, we're going to have two-way radios in there so that your teams can communicate. And as your teams burn through their medical supplies, we'll have dry supplies such as bandages, dressings, and other things that they're going to need to use. Once we have the plan in place and we have your team set up, we're going to have yearly drills and exercises that are going to help test the plan, test your team's ability to follow step-by-step -step guides A to Z, setting up the CERT staging area, sending out damage assessment teams, and communicating back with two-way radios. One of the most important things that the neighborhood team program is going to bring is an improved email communication system. Right now, if you graduate from the CERT class and your CERT coordinator is not there, there is no way for the CERT coordinator to get your information and contact you. And this is due to legal issues from the city saying that the CERT classes cannot give their information to the volunteer coordinators. So we've set up a system where anyone who's interested in disaster preparedness can sign up and get in contact with their CERT coordinator. The link on the screen, join.ntp-la.com, is the one place that you can go to sign up to get in contact with your CERT coordinator, find out about additional trainings being set up, meetings and drills that are planned for your area. If you have any questions or want to learn more about the Neighborhood Team Program, please visit ntp-la.com or email us at info at ntp-la.com.